Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewa.com. Today, let's make a traditional style tangy fish curry made with tamarind and onions. This makes an excellent party recipe because it can be made a day before and this particular fish curry tastes even better the next day. Red onions or white onions can be used in this curry. But if you have patience and time, peel pearl onions, that is shallots, then go for it. It will definitely be worth the effort as shallots give even more flavor to this dish. For this, you need nicely cleaned dance of fish, chopped onion, tamarind juice, sesame seeds, fresh coriander leaves, curry leaves, ginger garlic paste, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, mustard, turmeric, coconut powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, red chilli powder. To make this fish curry, dry roast fenugreek seeds. You don't need to add oil, just dry roast them a little bit. When they are slightly colored, add some uh, sesame seeds too. Roast these um, sesame seeds, add coconut powder when they are slightly colored, transfer them into one container. Okay. Add some oil to a hot pan, fry pieces of um, fish slightly. I will just fry one piece of fish just to show you. You don't need to fry this fish, you can add raw fish into your sauce. If you are new to handling this fish, uh, it is better to fry because the fish, fried fish will hold together for a little longer time than a fresh fish. Fry the fish on both sides. If you can add little spices to it like ginger garlic paste and turmeric to it. To the oil in which you fried fish, add chopped onion. While frying onions, always add a pinch of salt. What this salt does to this onion is, it brings out the moisture from the onions and cooks it faster. We do this all the time in the restaurants, especially when you are frying bags and bags of onion, we add salt and the onions get fried faster. Fry your onions till they are slightly colored and slightly brown. Let me tell you something about uh, onions. Actually, traditionally, for this particular fish curry, we burn the onion on the, on the flame, you burn the onion, peel the burnt skin and then use to make a paste. But I am just showing you a simplest method which also gives you good amount of flavor. But if you think, hey why it doesn't taste like my grandmom's fish curry, it is because they burn the onion and little burnt flavor that comes into your fish sauce gives you lot more uh, taste. But this is also pretty good. You can try this method. Now you can see that onions are slightly brown. This is good enough for this uh, curry. We are going to make a paste of this onion. Now I am going to make a fine powder of uh, roasted fenugreek seeds, sesame seeds and coconut. Add fried onions. If you want, add little bit water if you want. Heat oil in the same pan and add some mustard seeds. Let the mustard seeds crackle a bit and add cumin seeds. To this mixture, add little turmeric and add your ground mixture. Add 
add ginger garlic paste add curry leaves add chili powder cumin seed powder add coriander powder okay add some water to them mix a little bit so your spices don't get burnt and then add freshly squeezed tamarind juice to this mixture add the tamarind juice bring this uh, mixture with the tamarind pulp and all the juices bring it to a boil and cook it for few minutes when it is boiling you can see some froth when this froth gets cooked and dissolved and it disappears and you can see little traces of oil on the top that's when you know the sauce is uh, cooked now we will let it boil for uh, 10 15 minutes to make this curry i would love to use coramina coramina is a fresh water fish it is also called black sole coramina is the most expensive variety of fish found in this fresh water ponds and lakes it is considered an exotic dish due to its taste there is a strong belief that this fish must be eaten by fish lovers particularly on lucius brigashira to protect themselves from any food poisoning for the rest of the year on that day most of the asthma patients from all over the world come to city of hyderabad to swallow live fish with a herbal medicine uh, you can see the traces of oil uh, coming up on the sauce when you see little traces of oil you can you know that the sauce is getting ready now you can taste a uh, little sauce ha huh. somehow i added perfect amount of salt but that is a wrong way always add little less amount of salt when you are cooking and so you have more room in the last to add little more salt because you don't want too much salt in your curry add fish to the sauce i'm adding the fried fish also okay now is the most important part reduce the flame once you add fish there is no more boiling the sauce it is only simmering so reduce the flame and let it simmer for 5 10 minutes and your fish will be done one of the most beautiful memories of mine as a kid is going fishing with my dad even now i love to go fishing especially deep sea fishing we go overnight into the ocean and do night fishing and it's just great you should try sometime if you ever get a chance finally add coriander leaves do not i repeat again do not stir too much as the fish pieces break easily be gentle while stirring the fish pieces if you have noticed we have not added any garam masala like cardamom clove cinnamon at this point of time you could sprinkle little garam masala powder sprinkle little bit do not sprinkle a lot okay today morning i was talking to my father and i was telling him hey dad i'm going to make fish curry today and my father was so specific please tell the viewers to serve this curry after a couple of hours after cooking so the fish absorbs the tangy flavor of the tamarind sauce and spices dad i have told this to my viewers but i can't wait that long with the delicious fish curry here i'm going to eat it right away oh my god enjoy this delicacy with steam rice and i love to eat this fish curry with dosa and chapati also i hope now you can make this awesome fish curry also remember that Wareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.